What you guys got another video here for you. Still using an older version of Windows? Then this video is for you. Using an older version of Windows can leave your computer vulnerable to security risks and malware as Microsoft will stop providing security updates for these systems after a certain date. While older versions might still function perfectly fine, uh, they lack the enhanced security features and performance optimizations uh, that newer versions of Windows have. So basically, this can lead to a less secure and potentially less efficient computing experience. If we take a look at this website right here, this is all of the builds and versions. You can see here, this is the release and the released date. And we can also see the active support on here and sub security support and the extended security updates and the latest build number right here. If we take a look on this list right here, they're all in different colors, for instance, green, amber, and red, meaning obviously red means end of life. But what does this all mean to you? So let's take a look right here and we can see what the uh, comments are here. So if we look, E means enterprise education or IoT editions of Windows. W is gonna be home pro, pro education, uh, and Pro for Workstation Editions, and LTS means Long-Term Servicing Channel uh, Branch. So let's take a look at some of these because some people assume that they're okay using an older build from Microsoft, for instance, 23H2, or maybe uh, older versions like 22H2 for Windows 10. It says 11 and 10 here, you can see. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So Windows 11 23H2E, if we look at the E version, you can see it's perfectly fine. It says one year and nine months ago, 31 of October 2023, ends in one year, three months, November 2026. And also you can see this is the activity of it. But if we look at the W version of 23H2 on Windows 11, you can see it says one year and nine months ago, 31st of October 2023 was when it was released and it ends in three months and one week. That is 11th of November 2025. This means Windows will not be supported anymore. That version of Windows will not be supported and if you need to check, because if you put your security updates on hold, this means this version is not going to be updated and you will be forced to update to a newer version unless you want to run the risk of running a system that is not updated to the very latest builds. So let's take a look at a detailed breakdown here. So security risks are when Microsoft will end support for that operating system or that particular build of that operating system. They will stop releasing any security updates that will patch vulnerabilities on that PC. So this means that your computer will then become more uh, susceptible to malware attacks and also cyber attacks. Things like ransomware might easily be able to get onto the system and encrypt all your data and cause you problems. Performance and compatibility is another big problem. Newer versions of Windows often come with performance Im improvements and also compatibility with newer hardware and software. Older systems may not be optimized for the latest technologies or may not even support newer programs. Also, there's that lack of support. Microsoft say besides the security updates, you also lose access to any sort of technical support from them and also troubleshooting resources for these older versions of Windows. Future compatibility is when software or hardware evolve and older versions of Windows may become incompatible with newer programs and devices. This is pretty common in businesses where their old systems are compatible with older software. So when they upgrade their operating system, that software is not compatible anymore. And this is the reason why a lot of these companies stay on older versions of Windows, because it costs a lot of money to roll out updates for that software. Familiarity and also uh, preference. A lot of people 
have preference for certain things. Some users may be more comfortable with the interface of a particular operating system and functionality. So they might not want to upgrade to that latest version. We're creatures of habit and we don't like to update uh, our versions of Windows too often. Also, legacy software. A lot of people use old legacy software, which also is a major security risk if you're using it on modern computers, especially if your operating system is brand new and you're using an old version, say, of Photoshop. Uh, that can be a security risk in itself. Some users may rely on specific types of legacy software as well that is only compatible with that older version of Windows. And this is why another reason they stay on that version of Windows. So regardless of what people will tell you on the internet, if they tell you it's completely safe to still use Windows 7 or Windows XP or other versions of Windows that have reached end of life, then they are lying to you. You are still vulnerable to a lot of the things that we talked about in this video. An antivirus program is not going to protect you. It does not patch, uh, you know, vulnerabilities in the operating system itself. And some of these systems are, are so old now that they've not been patched at all for many, many years. And it could lead you, leave you very vulnerable uh, to attack. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.